economically. <laughs> There's uh, there are the myths are encoded uh, stories. You can read them at many levels, like psychological uh, the meaning we can infer from them. Um, another one, uh, another level is uh, uh, economics. Uh, economic exchanges, relations may be encoded in the story. And in that book I read, for example, this story about the uh, uh, Medusa, Perseus going to visit Medusa, it was a trade trip actually. It was a trade trip uh, to North Africa. Anyways, um, the dog in that book, according to that book, is a symbol of nerd trade in antiquity. You know why? Because in antiquity, merchants traveled in packs like oh. dogs. Oh. They were alert like dogs and they bit like dogs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think, uh, Androcles is shown with a dog because um, he was um, uh, a merchant. And then because he's shown with a dog, they um, uh, made up the story of him being a hunter. That's how it evolved at one level. So that's, uh, there's also Heracles there holding his club, the body is half sliced. These, by the way, are um, uh, replicas, the originals you will see at the museum. This also is a reconstruction. This whole thing has been reconstructed. Like, uh, this is marble here. That's, that's cement reconstruction. Uh, many of these blocks are reconstructions. The Androcles is one of the legendary sons of one of the sons of the legendary king Cordros of Athens. It was his sons, according to mythology, who colonized Ionia, western shores of Turkey at about 1000 BC. The um, generally accepted opinion is that the Greeks arrived here at about 1000 BC. Though, as you'll see at the museum, they have now found uh, Greek remains going back to 1400 BC in the area, so uh, maybe they had arrived earlier. Before the Greeks, there were the Lubis, L-U-W-I. Lubis are um, one of the Hittite peoples. Hittites ruled Turkey 1600 to 1200. Very complicated history. <laughs> uh, Is that an elephant? Yes, that's Dionysius riding an elephant. <laughs>